Okay, folks. I got a new tire. Not a whole lot of talking so far today. Sorry, folks. So, uh, yeah, I got a new tire. I got an inspection. Now I need to get the bike re-registered. You might be thinking, why didn't you get it registered when you should have, Mr. Mikey? Well, I'll tell you why. It's because I was in the hospital um, getting multiple surgeries and stuff. So, that kind of puts a damper on, oh, green light, okay. It, it tends to put a, a little crimp in your style, if you know what I mean. cop back there at that light so I'm being extra careful to not do too much over the speed limit because I don't want to get in trouble I know people see this kind of motorcycle and they say oh boy this guy's gonna go too fast not to mention I have an expired tag <laughs> everybody I know I'm not going that fast apparently I am because there ain't nobody behind me it's like the whole road just stopped okay well you know what I'm gonna go this way See, I would never have done that on the gold wing or in my truck. This bike encourages unsafe behavior, right? I, I knew I could do it. And I saw that other car. And I I was alright. Let's just put it that way. Now at least I'm not gonna have that cop behind me to go scrutinizing my 
expired tag. <laughs> Try to get home, get online, and do what I got to do. Now, I'm not going to use a left turn only lane to go straight and pass all these people because that's just not. No. No, that's just no. That is not appropriate. It's not legal. <laughs> not like what I did was legal back there. Oh well. The legalities of things sometimes are stretched to their breaking point with me. If you think I ride a little bit more than safe, or less than safe, a little bit more than responsible then take a look at uh, let me see here GB winging it I mean he's on the gold wing on that parkway that he gets on and man he's zippity doo dah on through there I wonder Gil do you get comments about how fast you're going do, do people try to criticize you and tell you hey, you're driving unsafe because if I do that kind of thing which you know I do uh, whenever I do I, I usually get comments like oh that's not safe. Oh well. Unsafe happens sometimes. I'm really trying not to hit any nails, you know what I mean? Uh, I have a theory about the nails. And my theory is this. We are in the midst of a huge construction boom here in the Triangle. That's what they call Raleigh, Durham, and Chapel Hill. It's called the Triangle. Also called the Research Triangle. And uh, in the Triangle, subdivisions are going up left and right. Because a lot of these old farms here, Grandpa dies or dad dies or great-grandpa dies and maybe doesn't have any kids or the kids they don't want to be a farmer they want to work in an office and so they say well geez if we sell our you know 23 24 acres or 50 acres or whatever the more the better right if we sell our land we'll make boku bucks millions and so we're set we don't have to worry about taxes anymore. We don't have to worry about you know, the cost of farming and all that. So I could totally see how a person would be like, screw this, I'm out of here. So they sell it to land developers who subdivide it. Next thing you know, you got houses everywhere. And who's building those houses? Well, there's people in their contracting trucks driving around with nails bouncing around in the bed of the truck, falling down out of the truck and into my tire. Again and again and again and again. And then we get a lot of hailstorms with all these thunder boomers. And in these hailstorms, uh, you know, these people's roofs get damaged. And so next thing you know, you got roofers out here putting in new roofs. And that's not good for your tires, right? Because they never clean up the nails the way they're supposed to. You got one lazy guy with one of them big magnets he's swinging as he's walking and if he happens to catch stuff great if not oh well I mean they did my house several years ago and uh, they went through and did that but I, I stopped at the top of the driveway and I walked down and I found oh god over a hundred nails easy Another reason I am a uh, nail magnet. Now, when I was out in Bethune, Colorado with Moose, uh, I wasn't even on the bike. Man, we got a big 
couple of pieces of changling fence in the damn tire. Thanks, Moose. <laughs> Had to go 175 miles back on a flatbed wrecker to get a new tire at this dealership in Denver. You know, the tire they put on wasn't even the right tire for that bike because the Goldwing at that time was very new and they didn't really have uh, tires for it at places yet. And they, they did the best they could, but it wasn't technically the tire that's supposed to be on that bike. And then when I got a nail in that one, like a year and a half later, the place that I go to, Team Power Sports and Garner, they... Uh, you know, ordered the right tire for me, and and I noticed the difference in the handling. It was so much better with the new tire. But just just because a tire might fit on a rim doesn't mean it's the right tire for the way that the bike is being used. Now, see, I could totally go over this yellow line right here and get in that left lane behind that truck. But why would I do that? I don't need to do that. There's probably all kind of nails in there. And then this truck itself, right? I'm probably going to get a nail out of this truck. That's all I think about now, right? It's nails, 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 nails. Ooh, tattoos. Nails, nails, nails. Oh, well. i got to get this bike cleaned. The, um, the service people there were like, what do you think of that ZH2? I said, it is the most... Beastie, awesome-y. Oh, I'm in rain mode. No wonder the performance on this thing is so crappy. I was wondering why I was twisting the throttle and the bike wasn't really going anywhere. The way I am used to doing. That's because I had it in rain mode. Now it's in road mode, which is better, but it needs to be in rider mode. And you can't switch it while you're in motion. You can only switch it when you're at a standstill, if memory serves. Look at them clouds. I was going to go directly to school. But I know it's going to rain like a bastard this afternoon. And maybe hailstorm and, and high winds and that kind of thing. Thunder and lightning and evil. the bike in the garage, taking a trip. Let's see, if I hold this down while I'm not doing anything, no, see, it won't, it won't, oh, sport, oh, 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 I made this to get into sport. What if I hold it again? Will I get rider mode? No, I think you can only do rider mode a special way. Anyway, I'm in sport mode now. That'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. That's the 
that's the kind of response that I was missing there for a moment. That was a state trooper, and I could tell he was eyeing me something fierce. Not, uh, not a bad thing to go home at this point. The eyes are looking. Lost cat. Sorry, I think it's probably a dead cat. Anyway, so, uh, yeah. Nothing really doing. Just riding back to the house from the dealership after getting a new tire put on and getting my bike inspected. And, uh, gonna hop in the truck, go to work, do my thing. Another day, another dollar. Alright, this is Mike Kaylee 7 saying stay safe out there, watch out for nails. And I will address you at a future time.